I've never been scared like that before, and I've never felt more alive. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So my first question is for Kristen. You've previously collaborated with directors like Sofia Coppola and Stan Raimi. How did Alex Garland's approach to directing differ? And what was it like working with him for this project? How was his, uh, sorry, approach different? How am I different? Yeah. How are you different? <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think you're mentioning people who I, I worked with when I was very young. And I've worked with mm -hmm. Sofia now throughout the years. But I felt like working with Alex, I felt very much part of a team and very respected as an actress and a collaborator. And I really appreciate Alex's brutal honesty. Even though it wasn't brutal to me, you're just very direct. Just keep the word brutal from all of that. Brutal. <laughs> but no, it's just like, he's just very honest. There's zero bullshit. And I'm not really, I'm like that as well. So I don't want mm -hmm. to talk in circles about things. I want to get directly to the point of things or, not to a point, be be allowed to then be be free and not get to a point too. I just want to be respected for my process and I felt that way and yeah, I think you get the best results that way. Yeah, I think that's a lot like your character as well, Lee. And um, that really brings me to my next question. So did your own experiences or observation about maybe your current events like influence your portrayal of the character in Civil War? No, because I felt like, I mean, yes, because of the documentaries I, I've watched mm. about, you know, photojournalists, I was influenced by those things. But then making this movie, it, it felt like such a different world. Like even reading the script, I, I hadn't read anything like that before, like Civil War before. So I wasn't looking to the outside. I felt like, this was unique to uh, this circumstance. And even though there's discourse all over the world, mm -hmm. I kind of used little bits of everything to create Lee. Could you name one photojournalist that stood out to you or you took the most inspiration from? For me, it was Maria Colvin in the documentary mm -hmm. called Under the Wire. That one really spoke to me the most because she's so dedicated in such a like, real and humble and... Although just to say, yeah. uh, I think the question was photojournalist, but she, she was a writer, but that, that said, she exhibits all the same qualities, qualities and yeah. characters. That, yeah, she, she would do pieces to camera and, uh, and write pieces. Um, uh, yeah, I think you said photojournalist, but, Sorry, but no, yeah, but yeah. it doesn't matter yeah, because, it, doesn't. because it, 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 it's the psychology of the people in those spaces. And she, to me, inhabits Absolutely. The, the closest thing to what Lee was like. So my next question is for Alex. Um, you've crafted immersive worlds before with Ex Machina and Annihilation. How did you approach creating the visual and narrative landscape of this war-torn America? We took all of our visual cues from reality. Some of the things that may look like there, there is moments of big production design and set construction and things like that. But there's also a lot of stuff that is just found. So is found in modern America. So there's a football stadium which is completely covered in graffiti because it's been abandoned for a long time and that was just a location that we found. We didn't apply the graffiti. There's some strange Christmas ornaments lying by the side of a road during a battle between snipers. We found them in a field abandoned and just said we'll use them. In fact we shot it about a hundred yards away from where we found them. And so everything all the imagery was in some ways based on reality, whether it was mm -hmm. contemporary America or news footage or documentary footage or whatever it happened to be. That's amazing. How do you think this film might resonate with audience in different parts of the world who are facing their own societal differences and divisions? I like the question because mm -hmm. Uh, I don't like the idea that this film is solely focused on America. It's set in America, mm -hmm. but the issues contained within the film are really global. There are Asian mm -hmm. countries, uh, African countries, Middle Eastern countries, many European countries and South American countries, which are facing exactly the same kinds of issues to do with polarization and populist politics. So I hope, the short answer would be, I hope it speaks to them and makes them feel 
uh, wary of where mm. polarized states can lead. <laughs>